so this is the last weapon of the dragon weapon set which is so nice the dragon weapon set is a very kind of eh weapon set uh there was only like three weapons or three um uh, yeah three weapons out in the entire set that i actually really enjoyed so far but this time we're going to be covering the final and last melee weapon which is the dragon's fist so once again we're going to be running the double attack speed it is fire um i've noticed that there is kind of a built-in affliction sometimes it's noticeable sometimes it isn't so i mean it really is slightly there i guess um but then we're also going to be changing this actually i think uh no because we're going to have damage to stun staggered frozen or knockdown targets because it is a hardware weapon so we're going to be stunning enemies a lot and then the six perk landing five hits in a row on a single target causes a small explosion damaging enemies within a point or half tile uh, of the target for 70 percent damage which is a lot so if we hit enemy five times in a row we're going to be doing a small explosion um and uh in that tile radius it does a 70 percent uh damage explosion which is kind of a lot if you think about it so it's gonna be a lot of fun i think maybe this weapon might be the best weapon to actually end off on the weapon set um so yeah otherwise if you guys haven't checked out the other uh, melee weapons um like the dragon tooth or the um dragons actually the dragon tooth uh i unfavored them already but the dragon tooth and then i believe there's the a uh, spear which i already forgot the name of it i the dragon weapon set is very forgettable honestly but that's what i'm here for grabbing the weapons that you forget about that might be good um but we're going to be running the paleo luna loadout which is basically the same one that we've been running for the uh, uh, other melee weapons but instead of uh the uh, uh the one the last time we ran uh, we're going to be running actuated attacks which she uh gives you if i can hover over it she gives you 17 percent more damage on hardware uh or hardware damage 17 percent more hardware damage which is good because we are using a hardware weapon so yeah otherwise everything is pretty much the same we got story and instinct story and hide crows of strikes assassination so we're going to be building those stacks and going to be doing those damage and then of course paleo luna more health the more damage we're going to be doing otherwise uh yeah it was really a blast to cover these weapons and let's just jump into the mission and cover the final uh dragon uh dragon weapon of the uh set Alrighty, so we're in the mission and i found a smasher now i really want to test out the uh hit five times and it explodes kind of perk uh the special six perk um i really want to see what it actually does so okay i hit it four times five a five is, is it doing anything is it is there an explosion i i don't see an explosion yeah i'm not seeing an explosion it does it not count on miss monsters or bosses okay wait it stuns them that is interesting i don't know if i heard an explosion maybe there's no audio cue maybe it's just like an ex like an explosion within it so let me try to hit an enemy five one two three four i mean i can't even it dies before five hits that's kind of funny one two three four five maybe there's just an explosion within that tile radius i don't know i don't hear anything maybe the six perk is bugged out or something i don't know Okay, wait, 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 wait. I think I just saw an explosion. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not seeing an explosion or hearing one. Maybe maybe it's a silent explosion. Maybe it just does it without an audio cue or a visual cue. Um, however, I mean, this weapon's kind of doing, holding its own ground. I think the one thing about the hardware weapons, um, you kind of have to be very close. I mean, with any melee weapons, you have to be very close. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know how I feel so far about it. I also need more health. I'm using so many healing pads when it comes to these uh, uh, melee builds. It's insane. Melee Luna and lead, man. Yeah, it's honestly not too bad. I think it's kind of nice. I don't know how it'll be against like bright huskies or against monsters and bosses, but we'll have to see uh, within the defense. And that's uh, yeah, let's just actually just get into the uh, actual defense. Alrighty, so the defense has just started. Uh, sounds like we have a lot of flingers. Okay, maybe that's kind of good. A fun fact, actually, back in the uh, good old days of early Save the World, uh, flingers were only killable by melee weapons. So a little nostalgic moment there for y'all. So if you ever played Save the World longer than, uh, I think about four years, five years now, just about, you would have known that you actually only have to, or you used to be able to only kill them by um, melee weapons, which was a very annoying thing, but kind of fun. Kind of required someone to be a, like a, a ninja or like someone running like a, a melee loadout something like that so just in case you know so um a little fun fact but however this weapon honestly i feel like it's not the greatest you know clearly the dragon weapon set overall hasn't been the greatest weapon but i think for what it's worth the weapons like the special six perk here where the explosion kicks in every five hits you kind of don't notice it but i'm trying to look at the health so like right there you can see it so 
with the lower enemies you can't really see it uh it actually happen and whatnot um but with the bigger enemies you can actually see it so one two three four and five you can kind of see the explosion i don't think there's any audio or visual cue to tell you that you actually had the explosion occur but it does um take the health away from it so you can kind of notice it so let's test it out on the mini boss and see what happens here one two three four five four five yeah okay wait wait that was i don't know if that's i don't know if that was me i think that may have been the smgers that are using smgs yeah i don't know i don't know if the six perk is actually working or not i'm trying to see if it actually does anything but i think turrets are really most doing the most work here i don't know i want to give it the benefit of the doubt that it's me doing the explosion but i really don't think i am i don't think the explosion is me i think i think it might be the smg uh the people using the smg that explodes on uh reload but i don't know i think the this weapon's kind of fun i think it can hold its own ground the hardware weapons are a little more bulky um and they swing a little bit faster with the attack speed so um but i don't know the knockback is kind of nice hitting any ba enemy back is kind of fun to get it away from the objective but that five hits doesn't seem like it's actually working i think maybe there it activated it the six perk just isn't it i don't think it's like that six perk that it's on i don't know two three uh and then four then five yeah i just don't see it activating i don't think the six perk may it's either not working or it's so not noticeable that it's not worth running so i don't know yet uh it's kind of kind of weird also we have lobbers or flingers i mean and they're getting kind of annoying let me eliminate them real quick oh this wall's about to break uh for what it's worth though this uh weapon is not too bad i think with paleo luna in the lead of course increases the chances of it being a little bit better now compared to other weapons such as you know like the mythic uh ravenger clearly it's going to be a lot better because it's a mythic weapon uh the spectral blade the mas Mune, like a lot of different weapons are a lot better than you know the weapon in the dragon or this weapon in the dragon set but for what it's worth i think it's fun to use i mean if you have a good team uh you know you could have some fun with the weapons and see if you enjoy them i think this might be my favorite melee weapon the spear was pretty fun the uh, sword was okay but I like the the fact that I can knock back enemies and get them away from me and still do a decent amount of damage, um, like that. Like I don't I don't think it's too bad. I, I I think this weapon might be good. Let me do a let me do a right click here. See what's going on here. Okay 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 okay. I like that. I like that. That was that was pretty fun. Oh wait, that explosion! I just saw it. I don't know if it just maybe it just worked there. Maybe it has to be in the same. I don't know. That's just weird. I mean, the mission's almost over. Oh, i'm not gonna question it but that, that that it exploded i swear it just it just it just exploded uh it's too bad it was uh only noticed at the end but uh otherwise that's it for the mission and it for the dragon weapon set if you guys enjoyed any of the dragon weapon set videos or any of the you know weapons itself let me know what you, which which weapon was your favorite down in the comments because i think the ar and the launcher are probably the best ones um but let me know what you think uh otherwise thanks for watching everyone have a great day and i'll see you guys in the next one